think that's okay. No, just double checking the camera. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's live stream. We uh, got some, basically, this is all Gundams this week. It's not too much, but we're also going to have uh, the finals, like the, uh, what do you call it, the rifle finalists, the rifle finalists for our Easter raffle. So that's going to be good. Oh, yeah. So some of the new Gundams, the EZ-8. Yeah, that's going to be good, too. Yeah, I'll get to that. Uh, give it a few seconds. Let's put more people join. I see Destiny. Yes, sir. Well, this is the Masquerade of Destiny, the Extreme Blast version. So one that comes with all those cool effect parts. Because the regular Mastery um, doesn't. <laughs> That's basically it. I think it comes, this one comes with its own personal stand too. So that one's really, that one's really sick. Let's see. So let me get some... We had some questions. I'll answer them first because uh, we don't have as many kits to showcase this time. I'll have some time to answer some questions. Let's see. First one. Is Build Day, that's coming up by the way, a chill get together or will there be mini events? So for now, it's just a chill get together. Yeah, we're like, it's just, um, you come bring your kit, bring some tools. We have tools here, here you know, that you can buy too. It's just, it's better if you obviously, obviously if you bring your own tools and then you build together, that's it. The mini events, um, I don't know, we'll think about it. Well, bring, we might have something, some stuff running. Yeah. It's well, not like a big thing, but it's more like a hangout gathering thing. Yeah. So it's just like a, ch a, ch a chill get together is probably the more likely answer or most appropriate answer for now. And we might have some small things and then like I'll bring it up with the team and then if they think of some stuff, they'll, they'll have, we have it. Stuff, we have stuff. Yeah. We just haven't not planned, planned. Yeah, no, and it's not finalized. Yeah. <laughs> not. Let's see. The next question is any estimated time of arrival on the Studio Series Voyager Shockwave? Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So that one, no ETA. But, uh, but we will be getting it? Yes. So that's just going to be... Uh, yes, yeah. We will be getting it. It's just we don't know when. <laughs> it's always That's always the question. Best best guess? I don't know. Months from now. <laughs> might be earlier. Might be later. Who knows? Uh, another ETA question. This one on uh, SHF Yujiro. I, yeah, same question. Same, same answer. Yes, just don't know when. <laughs> so... Unfortunately, these ETA questions, it's because we, we, we don't really know ourselves. Like sometimes they just like they just then they just like the truck just shows up like the delivery truck. So and then we get the invoice. <laughs> but yeah, so that was most of the questions I got from these last ones. I'm going to keep posting more for next week. So we'll see how that goes. This one is we had like less shipment this week. So therefore we had more time to answer some questions and stuff. But yeah, build day coming up. Two, about a week and a half from now basically next week because today's Thursday anyways but basically the Saturday next week April 13th yeah so yeah build day is in um, for now I think I'll get right to the showcase and then we'll go to the Easter raffle and then some other small stuff yeah hopefully I stick around for then let's see I'll keep this uh, up just so I can see your question I, I need you to answer that YouTube question I need you to answer truthfully the YouTube question yeah is Aaron still the coolest guy that works there? Yeah, of course. <laughs> no hesitation, of course. Okay. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> you sure. <laughs> no, 100%, 100%. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. So, yeah, moving on to the showcase. Thanks, YouTube, man. <laughs> well, I'll start with the non-Gundam stuff because everything after is all Gundam. So, I'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll knock off the, the ones, uh, the one-ups, basically. We have here K2SO. It's from Rogue One, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is Rogue One. It's the snarky little bot that accompanies them. Or like, like they meet up with him. I, for, I forgot the voice actor's name, but he was really good at it. Yeah. Nip just came in. It's a buildable kit, so like, let me see if I can. Yeah, here you go. It's a buildable kit, so like he is posable. He's not just a statue. You make him do a bunch of other stuff. He's got different types of hands. K2SO. Moving there. We're going, oh, moving from Star Wars. You want to bleach now? I know, what of a jump. <laughs> but here's a new Figure Art Zero. Thousand Year Blood Arc, Blood War, Toshiro Hitsugaya. This one in the Shikai form. It'd be really sick if they uh, 
So one day they introduced one where the, the actual like, ice dragon, the Hyoran Maru, actually appears. But this is really cool too. Well, it, it, this was supposed to come with, uh, was it um, Ichigo 2, right? But then, <laughs> so well, it's not really wood. It's just it's, oh, like, same same time release or something, yeah. right? Yeah. But we're um, we're sold out on that. So <laughs> sorry about that. Right now, we all we have on stock left is the Toshiro. That's why you pre-order. Yeah, that, honestly, yeah, that's, the pre-orders all wiped it all out. <laughs> yeah, I'll get to it. We have some uh, we have some new pre-orders too, so I'll talk about those later as well. But this one just came in. Yeah. So literally those two were the only ones that are non Gundams and now we're gonna move on to just my favorite all Gundams. <laughs> Starting off some people have noticed. Oh, sorry, let me see. I see a question here. Dark RPM. Any figure arts, Jujutsu Kaisen restocks? Not this week. We got them maybe like three or week three weeks or four like a month ago, something like that. But not this week. Yeah, sorry about that. Probably not for a bit. Oh. I because season two isn't didn't, didn't just Well they just they just did a reissue. Yeah, because like, so, it was for I don't the. Think they'll, be, they'll do another reissue so fast. <laughs> yeah, you heard that. Like, basically, maybe not until. A little while. A little while. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, like we said, we got because, like I said, we got it recently. So don't expect it to be, like, immediate bit, immediate restock, basically. All right. Yeah, so let's get on. Let's <laughs> keep moving on. We have some new master grades, a lot of new master grades and some new high grades, but basically like this week we got like a bunch of these old older master grades from way back in the day. Here, uh, we got three from the 8th MS team series. Here's the GM ground type. RGM79. It's the GM of like, you know, desert colors. These are, these are solid builds. I, I think like for the time period at least because i think these came out like 20 2001 <laughs> 2001 that's not even a, not even 2010 no it's a 20, 2001 23 years ago yeah. two decades ago and i mean they, they hold up really well honestly they take some work because they're older but they're not like those those really old school one to 100 that like the faces are like all bloated and stuff these ones actually are solid are solid their proportions are correct they're probably not as posable, unless you put in, again, you just put in a little work, cut out some bits and pieces in there. If you're, you know, if you're really dedicated, but yeah. This this applies to all these upcoming masquerades too, because I mean, most of these are older. Some of the newer ones are really, are still really good. So I can, there's Banshee right here, Destiny's really good. These Ennis Walt kits are solid, but these older, this one's from 2001 and it's still holding up. So that's pretty impressive. Put this down here for now. Next up, we have the Arc 79, not the 78. Ground type. This is another one of the, uh, well, this is a Gundam type basically that appeared in the FMS team. Fantastic series, by the way. Yeah, so every comment I said about <laughs> the Ground Gundam or Ground GM, same thing here for the Ground Gundam. Arc 79 one at least. Yep. So it's really cool. This comes with a bunch of, um, like, you know, like, ground warfare armaments it's got a nice a neat little backpack to carry all its all the armaments and then the 08 decal right here for the 8th ms team yeah so for fans of like the really like shock and awe really realistic grounded warfare and combat 8th ms team it's very probably a go-to uh got a question here shockwave of the otm do you guys have another unique toys Galvatron. No. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. No. Not right now at least. So we'll see we'll see what happens in the future, but for now, no. Hope that answers your question, Shockwave. Moving on to the next master grade in this eighth MS series line. Look at the easy eight. It's probably like uh, I guess you could say like the titular mobile suit for the eighth MS team. I don't know if you guys have seen the news about that new high grade for the new Netflix series coming out. It's a, a Gundam Revolution or something like that. Uh, but that one's called the Gundam EX, the high grade version. It looks a lot like this. <laughs> it looks like this and like a little bits of like super modernistic, like, you know, Netflix CGI stuff. But yeah. 
Barry Clearglass, he was at your Frank and Sons booth yesterday asking about the Easy Eight. Oh, you asked a day too early, I guess. Yeah. I think they came. I think they came in that they day. Yesterday. Yeah, they came in that day. Frank yeah, basically, like um, our shipment to Frank and Sons already happened. So then, then the delivery of all these came. So yeah, literally, you just missed a day out. <laughs> just come, come back Saturday if you want to go Frank and Sons. You can come back here tomorrow. We'll be, we'll have it, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, the easy eight. So same thing about whole like ground combat, modern war, uh, like not modern warfare, but like jungle warfare, desert warfare, like urban urban combat. It's got like backpack, bazookas, armaments, all this, all, all that stuff, all the good jazz. And of course, the zero eight for M yeah, eighth MS team. Yeah, the Tachilla mobile suit for the eighth MS team Gundam. Uh, just to make, give myself some space, I'm gonna put these down here somewhere else. I'll put them back up later. This one's really cool. So I, I just found out about this from the voice, the big boss over there. The Masquerades, uh, back in like 2011, I think it was in 2011. Oh, you probably should, uh, I guess, mention that that's the only one you have in stock. Oh, okay. So before, yeah, before anything else, not, this is the only one of this 30th anniversary Masquerade that we've gotten. But I just found out about these. It, it turns out like, in 2011, they released like all the masquerades, like every single one that's been released so far, right? Like at, at that at that year, or and then that, uh, up until that point. Yeah, up until that point, and then they're, and then they're like, okay, you know what? It's our 30th anniversary. Let's do something really cool. We released all of them, and then they came with extra clear parts. So I don't know if you guys can see that little gap <laughs> right here, the little gap. This extra width comes from those clear parts, and if you can see the picture here. Oh man, it's gonna be hard to see. You'll probably, you'll probably have to Google it. I don't think we have it on our site. Oh, Locals. Instagram, at least. Okay, sorry YouTube, but this is for Instagram. Yeah, they have the curve parts on the chest right here, and if I have permission, I can take it out of the box to show them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let me show you guys. So yeah, a slightly wider box, and it's literally to include these clear parts. So yeah, these are the 30th anniversary versions of these master grids. Yeah, really sick. Like, uh, like it includes all the original runners and stuff too. It just has those uh, clear parts so if you want to swap it out, like show off like bits of the inner frame and stuff because the, that's what made a master grade a master grade. Yeah, there you go. The gun tank from 30th anniversary. Only one. Just let me reiterate. This is the only one. Last one. <laughs> okay, I'm jumping a little way into the future actually <laughs> we got some high grades from the 00 series they're starting to re-release them like reissue them now because i think we got the 007 sword before and also the curios yeah the curios and then this is the next wave of these 00 reprints i'm gonna show them all at once but then i'll put them down to show them all one by one. First one high grade reborns Hopefully you guys have seen the series by now. I mean, it's been, I think almost a decade, o over a decade. <laughs> yeah. So this is the big baddie, the final baddie of 00. Not counting the movie, the movie doesn't really have a baddie. <laughs> yeah, Reborn's Gundam. It's piloted by uh, Rebons Al Mark. <laughs> I think Double O was one of the series that really like took the weird naming convention to a whole nother level. <laughs> I'm <wrong. laughs> I mean, yeah, he's Amro's voice actor too. That's true. It's just it's just funny here. Like the, the the names of all the mobile suits, like Godessa or like Anu Returner is a pilot's name or something like that. You know, those names are really <laughs> it just took them out of the Yeah, lock <laughs> lock on. Someone's name is lock on. I can't I can't get over that. That's <laughs> Hallelujah and Hallelujah is the yeah. alternate personality. That's, whew, that's so good. <laughs> you know, the most important one, I am Gundam. Oh, freaking Setsuna. <laughs> yeah, he's Gundam. Oh yes, Gundam Setsuna. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be really cool if they like introduce. You know how they have those Gundam girls, like like Fumina, mm -hmm. and then um the the Gyan Gyankyo's uh, Gyan. What if they do, do like an Exio Setsuna? So <laughs> someone to do that. Someone do effort. If, if you can do it on build day, I'd be really impressed. That'd be really cool. <laughs> Bring it on build day. Let's let's see if it, if that can happen. You have, to, you have to really work hard to do that though, but we'll see. 
But yeah, so high grade rib bonds. Oh, rib bonds. I think that's how you say it in Japanese, I guess, but like here's Reborn's Gundam. So it's cool because this one also has like a just transforming, a uh, transformable. So it like transforms into like a mobile armor with like a bunch of like four cannons. So it's not really like, it doesn't change it to an, an animal shape or anything. It just it has four cannons. It turns around and has four cannons. <laughs> but still, transformable. Next we have, well, I mean, speaking of Mr. I Am Gundam, we have two of his main suits. Here's the base 00 Gundam. So we, it's ironic, we got the 007 sword high grade before the space one, but I mean, it's, it's here now. <laughs> now this one uh, starts off, uh, basically kicks off the series. Uh, episode three, basically, I think, if I remember correctly, episode three of season two, when he first launches this. Because the first two episodes, it's just X year repair. It's episode one or two, was it two or three? I remember, ah, I'll have to go out and watch it again. I just remember super early on that they first three. launched it. I think I thought it was three because two they had to pick up well, um, yeah, Saji. Yeah, first one. For, well, episode one they started like everyone. Everyone's like all like, oh, like the flashbacks and, and the explanations. They were rescuing um, Setsuna. And yeah. Then episode two, everyone's just kind of meeting up again. Yeah, yeah. And so I think yeah, so I, uh, my my previous three, episode three. my previous memory was right then. <laughs> it's been a while since I, I watched it. it. I can still be wrong. Ah, oh, that's true. But. Just I'll watch I'll watch it again. We'll see. <laughs> and then, I, I, ironically enough, the end of season two, he gets back into the Exia. And this is the repair two. So I mean, I, it's hard, maybe hard to see. It looks like an eye, but this is the Roman numeral two. <laughs> Basically, the Exia repair one, the one of the the cloak and stuff, then from episode one that gets freaking blown up, is repaired again. <laughs> Yeah, and then so the repair two, I think I, I don't know if the first repair or the first Exia version had this feature as just the ignition mode, where the GN drive has a little like gimmick where it opens up and then pff, like a mini transam basically. <laughs> all of a sudden, like a bunch of particles bl bloom out and the power output increases. All that, all that fun jazz. Yeah, yeah. But this is the end of the series, so it's really cool, and they fixed the. So the GN blade now has this uh, green condenser part as opposed to that metal blade they had in the first one. So that's another thing that changed. Yeah. But otherwise, I think it's exact same as uh, previous XCS. It's the same XCS, uh, just different weaponry. Yeah. And then I think the little strap thing he has, the energy strap that he had on his shoulder. Oh, the, the, um, the, 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 like the transmitter cable, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the only difference. Because mm -hmm. everything else, looked, uh, if I remember correctly, was the exact I mean, it only showed up for that a minute <laughs> the last five minutes. yeah but the kit itself from what i can tell looks exactly the same besides the the um, the um the transmitting cables and like the legs and the shoulders yeah. okay can't oh yeah can't Constantinople the first gundam kit to get me into the hobby wow really this one oh that's sick i mean what's uh, if you want you buy a second one and then make it even better <laughs> but yeah there you go So from the high grades, we went back to the mass grades. It's just how I kind of arranged it. I don't know if I could have arranged it any better. I don't know. Let me know if, if you guys would like to see me transition from like high grade to mass grade instead of jumping around. <laughs> but that'll be for the future. So let me know. This one's an oldie. I think the, the very first Verka. Yes. Yeah. The RX-78 granddaddy. Because, you know, because you got to. And this is, this is again... Also two decades old by now. But this is when like the like Katoki, like, I mean, I, I don't think he made any other designs before this besides for like, I don't, he, did, he didn't do Wing yet, right? Did he do Endless Waltz? Because I know he designed 2002. Endless Waltz was out. Okay, then yeah, then, then that, that, that might be why he got the notoriety then. So like Verkaz is just, you know, famous Gundam, like designer basically. That's kind of just uh, explains why it's called a Verka. And plus, another thing about these masquerade work costs is that they all, they always introduce like some sort of like extra special thing. I guess for this one, because it was, this is way back in the day, and this is the first one ever, it's just like, oh, we redesigned the Arc 78 to look really cool. Oh yeah, see right here, he like redesigned a bunch of like the body parts and the armor parts. 
Yeah. Also, their vert cows also come with like water slide decals too. He likes his um, warning stickers. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, like just little pops and details here and uh, here and there that the vert cow, like uh, Katoki, the designer, decided to put on. All the Verkaz basically, that's what they're known for is this ex, uh, special redesigns, but keeping the base design, but like redesigning it, adding water slide decals, adding like details here and there. Some of the newer ones have like special like gimmicks. Like for example, I think the newest one is the Wing Zero Verkaz. Yeah. Right? That one has like that special gimmick where the wings can fold in finally that, and actually connect. And then they also, the wings can hold the bus rifle, that kind of thing. It's a, it's a whole bunch of jazz. If you buy the, if you buy the kit yourself, you'll, you'll realize. Like, basically, like, yeah, that's what Verka does. Oh, we got a question here. Tamashi Collector, when will you guys get Yujiro Hanma Storm Collectibles? Uh, Storm Collectibles, Yujiro. Uh, again, it's just, uh, we, I think we'll get it. Like, I think that's a definite. I just don't know. We just don't know when. It's just always the same. I'm sorry that that's the only answer we can give you is just because we don't know either we just know we ordered it like most of the stuff we ordered we just don't know when they'll get it. like when they send it out to us it doesn't help that we buy a lot right so we buy like most of the time we buy like huge quantities of it so it's like they they can send out like small shipments quicker and then the big shipments they have to wait till like it's, it's a logistics thing it's a logistics thing i don't want to keep talking about it but yeah i'm sorry that I didn't answer your question but we are getting it. I just don't know when. So moving on now to the next Master Grade. We've got the Master Grade Shining Gundam. Very first of the mobile fighter. Not Gundam, mobile fighter G Gundam. But it's supposed to be, like, I think they're called mobile fighters. And then it's only his is called, like, all, all the individual ones are called Gundams. But they're called fighters too. Yeah, because the series is called Mobile Fighter G Gundam. Yeah. I suppose the most of them, uh, the regular Gundam series are called Mobile Suit. So I'm like... Because it's the piloting system. Yeah, it's the fighter system, right? Yeah. yeah. Whatever system <laughs> For those of you who haven't seen, yeah, basically it's just because this guy, the pilot, is wearing a fighter, like a, a suit that can track his movements. And therefore they, they start doing Kung Fu. <laughs> they can start fighting off robots by themselves without a Gundam, that kind of thing. It's all... It's a fun series to watch. <laughs> uh, do you guys sell the Storm Collectibles Baki? No. No, we don't. I think that's... Is that sold out? We never had it. Oh, we never had it. Okay. Never had it, even. Sorry about that. My second favorite Gundam series. Oh, well... <laughs> what's your favorite, then? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, G Gundam. The Shining Gundam, I mean, it's famous because it also has this... Like, oh, actually, the, well, the picture shows it, but... This is actually the Shining Gundam's burst mode. The base mode, it looks more like um, like a standard Gundam where like the face vent isn't open. There's not a bunch of gold plates everywhere. But once it activates its Shining mode, you see this vent over here opens up. The shoulders open up. There's leg parts open up. And then these like wrist guards, I guess. Yeah, they open up too to activate the Shining Finger. Oh, Double O is your favorite? Hey, well, hey, what do you know? <laughs> We've got some, we got three new double the high grades if you want to get any. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mobile Fighter G Gundam. We still have the Master Grade uh, God Gundam or Burning Gundam for the American translation. We have that and we also still have the real grade God Gundam too. So if you're ever, if you guys are ever interested, we have all those all now in stock too. I think the only one that we're out of stock now is the Master Grade Master Gundam. <laughs> The Master Squared Gundam. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, I think, that, well, I think those are the only Master Grades of the, of the G Gundam line that they printed. Is the Master, Wait. the Shining, the Master, and the, Shining, Shining Master, and the God Gundam. Call what? Spiegel. Oh, they, they did? Yeah. Well, we don't have it. <laughs> That's the ones we've had before, but I, I I've never seen a Spiegel here. Spiegel, yeah, they don't make Spiegel often. Okay, yeah. It's like a rare Pokemon, I swear. Yeah, Spiegel, <laughs> and then they did the 160. The 160 was of the Shining Gundam? Shining and yeah. Burning? I don't remember a 160 Burning. Oh. I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah. I think there's, I think there's a 160 Burning. Uh, the, the big boss is checking right now. Oh, here we go. I got another comment. 
Oh, I'm partial to the Masquerade and per I'm Perfect Good kits. Yeah, I mean, the Perfect Good Exia is really good. And then the Masquerade Double O kits are just all, they're all solid. 160 burning. There is a 160 burning? But is that an actual Perfect Good? No. Oh, it's just a 160. It's when they were doing like the high grade 160s. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's like <laughs> seven, eight kits on that line. Oh. Ah, I don't know if I would get those. <laughs> yeah, it's the, uh, the one and then the, the TV wing. Um, and then Victory was in there. Those are old then, right? Those yeah. are like 96, yeah, 90. same time as the Gia. <laughs> but I mean, this Master Gear was solid though. <laughs> oh, but like, yeah, because it came out 2002. It was like almost like eight years after, basically. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> those old school ones from the 90s are rough. <laughs> All right, well, moving on from that for now. All again, jumping forward in time. This is from the, my favorite at least, the Gundam Unicorn is the Masquerade Jesta. This is like the uh, SEAL Team 6 of the GMs. <laughs> the special like the special stealth units that are used by the Echoes team. Super cool. I think it first appears in episode 2? Or 2 or 3 where they try to rescue Banaji, but yeah. Honestly, one of, one of the top 10, like, uh, masquerades in terms of uh, build quality. Like, there's a solid design. It's really easy for them to just match, like, just max out, like, joint quality, the engineering, basically. I've seen, I've seen some videos on YouTube where, like, they said the joints still hold up even to this day, even after they built it all the way back from 2013, 10 years. So, yeah, that's pretty nuts. It's almost like, I mean, like, this is literally just, like, you know, military stealth armaments. It's got the rifle, a, a small, like, side shield with a holster. It's really cool that the shield is, you know, it's held on its shoulders or, like, the backpack as opposed to the arm. Freeze up arm movement. Tactical, again. <laughs> oh, did I miss a comment? I'm still waiting when you guys get the perfect grade, perfect strike Gundam kit. I mean, yeah, we, because uh, we're getting those perfect grades in waves. We've got so many perfect grades right now, so... That one might be coming up in like a, a week. I don't know, a week or two, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a Master Grade Jesta. So putting some stuff back so I can make some space. Give me a second. So yeah, more Master Grades. This time we're going to the Wing Universe. Starting it off, we got a reprint reissue of this, Master Grade Tall Geese. So not a Gundam, but like basically one of the most popular suits from Gundam Wing. No matter what anyone no matter what like anyone says, oh not a Gundam, it doesn't matter. This one's freaking popular. That's, I think it was like because they used the specs from like the Gundam or something to make it right. Yeah. So. All the Gundams are based on Hoggies. <laughs> all the mobiles, actually, all the mobile suits are based on Hoggies. Yeah, because like the Leo is just like a toned down version. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And then the Gundam itself is based on that. Yeah. I know. I know. Because uh, I think Wing Zero was the first Gundam. Yes. Yeah. And then like they had to like tone it down or something because like the technology was no, the the, the AI. Zero system. Yeah. The the Zero system. Yeah. yeah. So the AI was too crazy. Five, all five doctors split up. And then, Gundams. yeah, and then they're like, they took some, like, like was it the, like, data from that Wing Zero and to make their own versions yes. of the Gundams. <laughs> and then the Toggies. <laughs> well, Toggies was before that. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Oh, I missed some questions. I will zip to the store if I see that in stock. Oh, for sure. Um, Just keep, pay attention to our post for the perfect, I think it's the perfect grade, perfect strike, right? Let's see what other questions are there are you guys still hiring um i'll leave it up to the big boss not at the moment, <laughs> not at the moment. sorry <laughs> all five doctors made the tall geese oh the, there you go yeah yeah i know yeah i know they made wing zero for sure i just don't i didn't remember them making the tall geese because i remember the tall geese was like it was too fast for normal pilots so like it actually hurt them g-forces and stuff like that yeah. If I remember correctly, yeah, Gundam Wing Toggy is prototype of the Gundams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. So then, what is Wing Zero? Is that like a sister suit? 
No, they made the they made the Tohis as like the generic mobile suit, and then they made pro uh, Gundam as a prototype for like, I guess more stronger thing. Oh, okay. That's it. That's really interesting. I gotta rewatch the series then, cause I watched it when I was like a kid. So, <laughs> I, I all I remember was being zeros made by the, by the five doctors. I guess they made they made all the Gundams. They made all the Gundams. So even made, yeah. yeah, even this tall geese. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, I know for sure they made the zero system. They do like they designed the zero system, and I know it can handle it. So then they got like filtered down into the other five Gundams for sure. So I guess this is the prototype of the Gundams. And then Wing Zero is like the predecessor? <laughs> Something like that? The what? The, is Wing Zero the predecessor? No, the Togis. Togis is first. Togis is first? And then yes. the Wing Zero? Oh. Yes. Togis is the first one. Everything is based on Togis. Oh, pretty sick. There you go. That's what I kept saying. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> More, no, I learn. I learn uh, something new every day. That's why. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty um, I mean, well, moving on to the other masquerade of the Wing Gundams. Speaking of the other Gundams that were made, here's Sandrock. Don't even. Uh, don't even quiz me on these on the doctors' names. I made it in, in each individual one. I'm not gonna remember those. <laughs> you need to. That's your test. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wiki will provide that for you. Whether or not we're hiring. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll check the we'll comments. <laughs> yeah, Sandrog is made for like desert combat. I, uh, I like, like I always remember seeing these all heat blades. And it was one of the sickest things. I like this more. I know people like the Shenlong Gundam more, but I like the Sandrock more than the Shenlong, but it's mainly because of the heat blades. Yeah, and this one comes with these extra heat blade, like basically like Swaps, so you uh, activate that form basically. Yeah, right here. It comes with a small little submachine gun, and then it's like arm shield with a claw, like grappler. Yeah. Didn't like the pilot though, Quattro. So he was okay. <laughs> a little too nice for my young self. <laughs> A little too peace, peacekeeping, peace loving ass. Yeah. He turned really badass when he, you know, got into the Wing Zero, <laughs> and that's when that, yeah, and that's when the kid me liked him. And I was like, well, there you go. I guess kid me was a <laughs> kid me was like that. Uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, right, yes, thank you, JPP Pack. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, speaking of the Shenlong, yeah, another thing that uh, restocked, Masquerade Shenlong. Yeah, he's come with that the, the shield, that trident, and also the 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 titular arm, the the the, the what did he call it? Dragon arm, the one that can extend all the way out. I'm gonna tell you right now, this arm doesn't, this kit's arm doesn't extend as far as what you see in the anime. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> yeah, this this is not gonna go out meters. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's probably like a few inches. But it's supposed to. This is what it looks like. Is that's what it represents. <laughs> It's like, it's it's supposed to be like a sudden like surprise because you know in melee combat, it's like if you have increased your range all of a sudden, you're that much more effective. That's what it's kind of going for. Yeah, dragon arm, dragon fist. Yeah, that kind of... I, I knew it was the, the dragon arm something. That's funny because uh, I think in G Gundam, the dragon Gundam, it also has that kind of same gimmick. Both its arms can, you know, reach out for like miles. Yeah, that's not happening for these, for, you know, this, this, no matter creation is happening here. This is not infinite length. Just letting you guys know. <laughs> Don't buy this kid expecting that to happen. Net, another restock. I think we saw a lot of this one like a month ago. And then, yeah, here's a restock. It's back in stock now. Heavy arms. Oh, before I, uh, before I forget too. I, you'll notice that all these say endless waltz on them. These aren't in the movie Endless Waltz. It's just, I think, like uh, a side series, like light like novel or like a novel or a comic or something like that. It's in the Endless Waltz storyline. Yeah, it's in that storyline. It's just, like, it wasn't in that movie itself. 
That's I, no, I, I want to be clear about the why this gets the Emma Swartz tag. It's basically like the sequel of the original Wing no, series. It's it's a retelling. Oh. So the original the TV the TV Gundam there's the TV Gundam Wing and then there's the Endless Vault story which is they kind of is the same story wise <laughs> it's just the the mech in there are different. Then what then what is a Frozen Teardrops in? Because that one also that is a retelling. Oh, that one's the sequel. That was a se- uh. yeah sequel. Frozen <laughs> Teardrops is a sequel. Because it's like a hero got frozen or something. Cryogenic frozen. Yeah, sure, yeah. That, that one's real trippy, guys. Yeah. So, yeah, that endless. So, this heavy. So, in the TV series, you know how Death Sight and Ultron, or Nataku Shenlong, whatever name you want to call it, yeah. that one has the. They, they both got updated. Or they're the only the, uh, Gundams that got upgraded. Mm-hmm. But in the Endless Wolf storyline, all five of them got. Well, I don't know about Wing Zero, actually. I don't know Wing Zero storyline in that one. I think. I should have winged it. Yeah, because yeah, it does an Swall version of it too. Yeah, the, or the, the original, not the Wing Zero, but the Wing. Yeah, Wing. Oh yeah, the, the Proto Zero. Yeah, there's also there's a Proto Zero. There's also the um, there's another Wing Gundam that has the it's it's like red, blue, and yellow. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, no, that that one's zero one. That's the original zero one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I forgot if he got if he got an upgrade or he just went to Wing Zero after that. Either way. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, uh, the endless wall. So the orange heavy arms became the the teal or green heavy arms. That slide became that slide hell. Uh huh. Um, Shenlong became Altron, and then the Sandrock yeah. became the new Sandrock. Yeah, Sandrock became Sandrock Custom. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally all the came. So so similar in that sense, they all. But in this case, they all got upgraded. So these these ones we have here is the original form of the endless walls inside the movie. Yeah, like, and like, that's what the movie has, like, the final forms, basically. And they this are is the like, final forms. Well, yeah. this is after the, technically after the... Endless after the Waltz Waltz series, Waltz. yeah. So, t- consider, like, the TV story, but just different mechs. All right, yeah, so, I mean... That, that's a good clarification right there, thankfully. Let me see if I missed any comments on the way. Did I miss any? Yeah, I All right, we're good. Yep. So then, yeah, another one of these uh, Masquerade, the wings from the Ennis Waltz. This Death Scythe, this that the custom upgrade that we saw talked about, the one right before Death Scythe Hell, basically. <laughs> Let's see. I think the changes, there's not, there's not much changes here. Uh, I think it has a... The legs are different. Well, I mean, bottom line is, <laughs> or, or if you just think of Katoki redesigning all the original five. <laughs> I can definitely tell the Katoki designs are a little more extra. So yeah, Gundam Death Scythe back in stock. Yeah, oh yeah, so that's that. This is the wing I, I was talking about right here, where uh, it's uh, has got ye- more yellow in its yeah, wings. That's yeah, the original zero one. Yep, the original zero one also has an Ennis Waltz version. And there's also a Endless Waltz Wing Zero. There's the very famous Tetula one. <laughs> yeah, Wing is a Wing has a lot of weaves. <laughs> so moving on from Wing, we've got the Master Grade Destiny. This is the Extreme Burst mode. So I think I, I mentioned it before, but I'll say it again. This the Extreme Burst mode is basically like it's the base Massacre Destiny, but I think some of the parts here are silver plated, kind of like in a counterpart to the Strike Freedom, where it has a gold plate. Some of these are like silver plated, and it comes with the a wing effect parts, the Palm Fiocina effect parts, and Beam Boomerang effect parts. Let's see if I, there's a picture here. Oh yeah, yeah well, there you go. So maybe I might be able to see some more online, but yeah, this Massacre Destiny, it's got this Palm Fiocina Blast effect part, Here's that beam boomerang effect part, so it kind of mimics it being thrown. And then, of course, the wings of light. Let me see if it if it showcases the silver joints I was talking about. Nope. <laughs> but yeah, but this one, um, um, if you when you buy it and you pull it out, you'll see like uh, some of the, the the inner joints basically in a reflection or like. In opposite of what the Strike Freedoms of gold, the gold inner joints, this one has uh, silver uh, inner joints. It also comes with a, a, a special stand, again, to counterpart the Strike Freedom. 
So the Strike Freedom stand and the Destiny stand. No, no, these stands are like basically like mirror images of their wings too, so it's really cool. Some more masquerades. It's just a lot of masquerades, huh? <laughs> I pull up, well, since I was talking about the wing before, anyways, or the wing series, might as well start off with this final wave. Masquerade Death's Life Hell. From Endless Waltz. Endless Waltz. And you see, uh, let me see if I can pull up the original OG Death's Life. Let's show you guys a comparison. The obvious difference <laughs> the wings. And another cool thing is that this one has a double scythe. Or a big scythe. This is a double scythe. Let me show you this. Well, not a really not a fantastic picture. But here's a comparison. Yeah, so it's got the big bat wings, a scythe. But yeah, Death Scythe Hell. You know, for, for the life of me, I could have sworn. Didn't the scythe have two blades? That's, um, that's the TV Death Scythe Hell. Or the TV Hell. <laughs> that's what I saw, that's why. So yes, like... that's the one with the half of that wing. The TV one, yeah. That's the one that has the two. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. The child me is remembering all these things, and I, and I was like, I could have sworn it has two blades. Yeah, the TV <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Just make it more badass. Have two blades. <laughs> oh, I, I think doesn't the metal the metal composite death yes, scythe? Yeah, that, that was one. The TV death that was based on TV death. Yeah, that's why. Okay, God, I remember. I remember two blades for sure when I saw it. Okay, let me see. Do I have any? Okay. Right. Well, moving on to the next master grade. This one, I, I think it's not part of a series, just no one's ever really heard of it before, right? It's like Shin no. Musha is from the SD series? No, it's the one from... I forgot the name already. Sengoku Setsuken? Yes and no, it's the <laughs> Dynasty Warrior Gundam. But this is Japanese? <laughs> but this is Japanese? Like, like the Shin Musha? I could have sworn it was like a Sengoku... Like I, I thought the, the first Musha Gundam was the SD one. I'm trying to remember. That's from the, that's from the game. Yeah, yeah, that's why I thought that one was from the Dynasty Warriors game. Yeah, the, no, the Dynasty Warrior Gundam game. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the hack and slash one. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, I mean, I, I thought the Musha Gundam itself the, was based off of an SD one. Oh. Well, I mean, they're all kind of from the same genre. Yeah, that's true. That's why I was like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, all the same Goku is from the same time period. Like, their character... The Gundams are based off of characters from that. Time yeah, yeah, yeah. Time era. Yeah, so Musha Gundam's one, and then all the, the three romance, the three kingdoms yeah, ones. That time. Yeah, that makes sense. I was like, yeah, but oh, let me show it. it, it, it Musha Gundam is basically like like a samurai version of the mass. Uh, uh, it's just a samurai Gundam, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it comes with like a um, katana, or specifically not like uh, the the more I want to say modern samurai, but no, what's the word for it? It's the one right before. Right before the age of the guns. If only I know my history. Someone who was a history buff would know better. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it has a rifle. That's basically, it's a samurai with a rifle. It's got the... <laughs> it's got a trident, the katana, and the spear, and the polearm. All, samurai weaponry, basically. I, I, it's it's the, the time period of the samurais in... Remember the last samurai of Tom Cruise? <laughs> it's that period. Yeah. Someone make a Tom Cruise Gundam. Mission Impossible. Musha Impossible Gundam. That'd be freaking funny. <laughs> really freaking funny. Yep. So that's the Musha Gundam. Moving on now. Back to Unicorn. Well, this one's basically a predecessor to the Unicorn and the Sinandu. But yeah. The Masquerade, Sinandu Stein. Burkha. As you guys can see, it's a very similar Sananju head. And then the rest of the body case, it, I mean, the Sananju and the Unicorn are basically like, because they're based, they're developed from this. You'll see a lot of the same frameworks. Uh, let's see, this shield, um, the Sananju kind of 
what would you say? Redefined? Yeah, redesigned. They, they zionified it. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the yeah. Not the cuffs. Yeah. The cuffs, well, the cuffs because they added just to add the zion flare, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because all the, because all the zion suits from that time. Yeah, they had the. Cuffs. They had the little thing. They had the crest too. Yeah, they had the crest too. And then the backpack. The backpack, you'll, you'll notice, is uh, basically the San Andreas backpack. Just more... Uh, it's still in the Anaheim Electronics design. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's got the... Well, this rifle, again, splits the beam magnum. I think it's something that's not even based off this. This one just directly trans transitions into the San Andreas beam rifle. And then the this bazooka, I think this is Andrew uses again. So. I, I forgot the story of it. It's just like this is the prototype. Then the designs for this were made for the, uh, were developed into the unicorn, but then this one was stolen and became this Sanandu. That's why I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I mean, it's, it was well, I mean, is this <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. This is Sanandu Stein. No, it's, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it's a Sanandu unit, I'll give you that. That's true. But yeah, that's basically like what happened is like full frontal stole one and turned it into or made it red because <laughs> he's Char, you know, Char doesn't pile anything that's not red. Don't, don't get me started on Contra Bajina. That's it's not Char. It's gold. Yeah, that's gold. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what happened. And here this is unit two of the unicorn. This is Banshee. This is a Verka version. It's basically like a black and gold unicorn. Yeah, they stole the unicorn and then they added some flair into it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I that's really it. That's it. <laughs> I mean, like literally, it wasn't like like because the unicorn is the unit one or it's arc zero, so it's like the, it's the first unit, and then they kept the designs because it's owned by them, right? It's owned by uh, EF, EFSF. They kept the designs and then they like added some modifications or something based off of whatever data they had from the unicorn testing. So theoretically, it's supposed to be better than the unicorn. Yeah, more armaments and stuff like that, just from based off combat data. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, it's not any different here besides the whole horn colors. The, the, yeah, the crest here is like more. Lion. Fl yeah, it's like flared out more like a lion. You'll see. It, like a lion's yeah, uh, that's the that XC unit. Yeah, yeah when they have the that the Banshee Norn. More, yeah. More flare. Yeah, this right now is just the lion's eyebrows or something. I don't know what you want to call it. Yeah, the crown. Now, oh, actually, yeah, it's a crown for a king, I guess. Lion king in the jungle, even though it doesn't live in jungles. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's the last of the master grades to show you. Now we'll move on to some of the, the, the th three perfect grades, basically, that we got. Oh. Oh. This is long boxes. First up, perfect grade Zaku 2. This one's the shards version. This is all red. The, these boxes, um, not the modern perfect grade boxes have better pictures, but these old school ones have a <laughs> just the name printed out. So I'll just, I'll just show you how big it is, and I'll move, I'll move on. But yeah, like, actually, it's just upgraded unicorn. Yeah, Same that's. Same frame. Oh, yeah. They just took the data from the unicorn before, and then I was like, okay, let's make it a little better. I kind of think. And then exact well, I, I exact same build as the perfect Izaka two is just not shark colored. <laughs> Shaw as novel. Yes. Yeah. Grunt. Yeah, just the grunt version. And again, you just to see pictures, you're gonna have to check our like, our website, you know, torina.com, because uh, these old school perfect boxes for the Zaku is just boom, just, just really plain. I mean, the Zeta was like that too, honestly. The perfect Zeta. It was uh, also a plain box, no uh, images. And at least this Mark II that we again, I think we had, I showed it like two weeks ago too, but we have another restock of it. But yeah, this one, this, this is basically when they like start trying to show pictures. Yeah, boom, there you go. Yeah. But you'll see better pictures online. This is just to show you scale, like how big it is compared to me. And I mean, look, <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> Trust me, guys, this is freaking huge. But it's not too heavy. I mean, it's still plastic at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, that's all the Gundam kits. It's basically everything that we've done this week, at least. 99% Gundam, then we have the one Star Wars thing, and then we have the one Bleach thing. <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, that's for today's showcase. Let's move on to the Easter raffle. Uh, if you guys remembered, whoever's watching, hopefully one of you guys were part of it. You guys entered the raffle. Basically, all you had to do was buy something and then you get a ticket to, you know, enter. If you were willing, we didn't force you. Yeah. So basically, we put a bunch of these tickets in this box. I hope you guys can see. I mean, I don't want to angle so Hopefully you guys can see. You can see it. Or at least Instagram. Yeah. I'm trying, yeah, YouTube can see it for sure. Okay. Instagram, is it good? Instagram, okay. Okay. okay, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so all these tickets are here. I'm gonna shake it up and then pick one ticket, one winner, and they get a choice of prize. Uh, once I pick the ticket, I'll bring the prizes up so you guys can see. Um, we'll try and, we'll, we'll, we'll like, we'll put up a post for the winner. I don't know, how, how do you want us to notify them? Do you want us, because they put their contact info here. What, yeah. If if they, if it's, I don't know, uh, some people have phone number. Yeah, some people have phone number and some people so have. So it's just yeah. whatever contact information, however they give us, mm -hmm. we'll contact them with that medium. Yeah, so yeah. It, whatever people wrote on this is how we'll contact them. Some people are like, if you wrote an Instagram one, we I think we'll prefer Instagram because I know some people wrote all like three email, phone number, and Instagram. Wow, right. Yeah, so I, was, I know some people did that, but if like, Instagram is our priority, then email and then then phone number. So, but we'll see who, who wins. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's start the shake. <laughs> you guys, I'm dancing. <laughs> All right, I think that's a good enough shake. All right, so I'm not looking, I'm not looking. I'm pick one right here. I did, I can't read that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that says Ricky. I think that says Ricky. Is it, is it Ricky or Racky? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a that's an email too. Oh, great. Oh man. Oh, this is a tough one. <laughs> Rudy? No, Rudy. Is it Rudy? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Could be Rudy. That that that, that would make sense because that looked like a U. Then I was like, but then Rook Rook Ricky doesn't sound like a name. Yeah, I think it's Rudy. <laughs> I think that's a D. R U D Y. All right. So I think it's Rudy. Well, based on the email, I think it's Rudy Bar. Okay, R Rudy B Bar thirty two at Yahoo. Okay, okay. So um. We'll contact you as soon as we can. Like, uh, apparently by email. Say that number out too. Oh, I've seen it. Okay. Um, uh, for, for those of you that you still have your stuff, I'll say the number out too. Okay, yeah. So check your stubs. It's 403553. That's the ticket winner. Can you guys, can you guys see that? Is that, is, yeah, is that, yeah, that's good? Yeah, no, okay. And then here's YouTube, just in case. Oh, YouTube can see it perfectly fine. Okay, cool. So yeah, 405, uh, 403 uh, Should be Rudy. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, um, we'll contact you first. And then I think we'll give you, like, if you don't contact, like if you don't reply back within a week, unfortunately. Uh, we'll pick someone else. Yeah, I'll have to pick someone else. But uh, we'll try our best to get to you. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, it looks like Rudy. But uh, can you see the last name? <laughs> uh, like I said, Bar. I think it's B A R R. Okay. Yeah. So we'll try and contact you, and we'll see. Like, uh, hopefully, maybe if someone sees the live stream, maybe you see the live stream. Yeah. And like, oh hey, that's me. Then yeah, that'd be great. Just come by the store too. Just show your, um, bring your ticket stub, and then you can pick out of one of these three prizes. Um, and I can fit them all in my hand at once. <laughs> yeah. So you got an Android Sukuna. Or you can get SH Figure Arts Naruto, the best selection one. Or you can get High Grade Perfect Strike Freedom from the Gundam Build Fighters Battle Log Universe thing. Yeah. Yeah. So this uh, one of these uh, is for you. Just pick one when you get um, when you get here. Sources, because we don't know what you like. Yeah. So, uh, up to you. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so then let's see. Oh. Yeah. Um, we're also like at the end of this month, we're doing level up, level up con. I think it's in Las Vegas. Yes. 
We don't have any information yet, right? Not booth information. Yeah, we don't have any. We don't have our exact booth, but we are going for sure. That's in Las Vegas. If you, whoever's there, or if you guys want to make the drive, it's Vegas. Yeah. So yeah, at least you, if you, after you're meeting us, you can go. It's Vegas. You can stay up to like freaking. You go, you go there, <laughs> put a hundred dollar on red, and then you buy more guns. Yeah, exactly. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trick, guys. That's the trick. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, but yeah, we'll be in Vegas. Double con- um, where is it? Exa- oh, which which building is it? La- Las Vegas Convention Center. Yeah, I think it's Las Vegas, Con- Las Vegas Convention Center. LV Convention Center. It should be. <laughs> it should be okay. Yeah, unless well, they changed it, but I think it's the Convention Center still. So. Okay, but we'll have more info anyways. We'll have more info in, uh, in the future, like come, well, coming up. I just wanted to let you guys know we will be there. And then what else? Oh yeah, we have like we have some new pre-orders that I um, put some posts up on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think for sure I remember one is Paledramon. So Figurize Paledramon, that one's really cool. It's the amplified version, so like, some of the proportions are like, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's redesigned. In, yeah, it's redesigned, so it's like, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to use the word in the name, but amplified is the most, literally the most appropriate way to say it. It's just, <laughs> Paledramon amplified is, is like, they took the design, they um, added some more gimmicks to like the Figurize kit. I think like they can combine the rifles, like those uh, iconic the rifles. Buster. Yeah, the bus rifles, into one big one. Yeah. Let's see. The, we have some, Oh yeah, Godzilla minus one. The negative color version. That one's really cool. Or it's called minus color. Yeah, because. Black and white. Yeah, minus one is minus color. Yeah. Just a little like fun little thing they wanted to do, <laughs> but yeah. Um, because in in theaters they released a black and white version to more like better mimic the original OG Godzilla like 1950s something like that really old the really old one the very first ever one actually yeah so that's uh, another pre order that's out on our site oh, that's, that's another really cool one yeah oh a bunch of the new Gundam Seed kits from Gundam Seed Freedom too are like Wave two and three are still up for pre order. Yeah, um, is Mighty Strike Freedom, for example, that's the oldest one that still has not come out yet, right? That one's still up there? Yeah, that one should be next. Yeah, but that one's canceling soon, because um, I think in Japan, they've already um, they've already sent out the early batch to some people. Uh, I, I, I've seen videos, that's why. <laughs> but um, what, the moment that releases, the pre-orders close. It's the same for all, all of our pre-orders, basically. Once they release and ship, pre-orders close. Yeah, so um, order while you can, basically. That's the that's the oldest of the Sea Freedoms you can still pre-order. So, yeah, yeah. But just check our website. Like, still have a bunch of pre-orders. Uh, pre-orders. Keep adding ones. Like, keep adding new ones every week. Yeah, and I mean, speaking of the website, like, I don't know if you guys have you, have you guys been on like recently. We just updated the look, the UI, and stuff like that. What Wednesday? Yeah. Literally yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Literally yesterday we updated the website so like all brand new fresh look just trying to like make things like look new like, everything still works the same basically but I think we added some new functions like we segmented some of the Gundam kits better like their the filter search function, the sorting and the search is a lot better yeah we're trying to make it more organized yeah yeah and like I, I think there's like better filters here too um, you guys just check it out on, on the on our website just check it out yourselves you see what I'm talking about yeah, and then um, I think yeah. Besides the redesign, the some new functionality, everything else still works the same. We're still using the same system yeah, the and stuff. The website is not a hundred percent finished yet. We're still working on it, so there will be some things that look a little weird. Yeah. Oh, if you guys notice anything, just let us know. Like you can DM us. I think there's a post that we have that's like about our new website. If you comment there, like I think someone already asked about filters and it's like yeah. As long as you know they're there now, you do have those new filters. But if you want have any, if you guys have any comments, you know feedback etc let us know just post dms whatever then we'll fix it as soon as we can basically or work on it or see if it can be worked on yeah if something's not fixable again we'll just say we'll just say yeah we can't fix that one yeah <laughs> but most of the time we should be able to fix it we'll, yeah. cool 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 and then i think last but not least build day <laughs> am i forgetting anything else build day is probably the only thing left um, yes, Saturday morning. Oh, sing. I forgot the time. But it's it's always from, it's from twelve to five. Uh, it's twelve. Like that, yeah. 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 April thirteenth. Um. Also, pay attention to weather. So will we? So just in case, if mm. you know, it's been raining every weekend for the past couple weeks. <laughs> yeah. So on the off chance that it does rain or pour or whatever, then we might have to cancel it. 
Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, speaking of like freak rain, I mean, today all of a sudden there was a sun rain shower. Rain for like a minute. Yeah, so like if stuff like that happens, that we can't control. Like if it just rains out of nowhere, I don't yeah. think we can do we'll, anything about we'll it. We'll be watching the weather constantly. Yeah. If we decide to cancel it, we'll let everyone know. But you know, everyone can see the weather too. So yeah. <laughs> if, it's, if it's you know norm like. It would be still fine as long as it's not raining. Yeah, yeah. If 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 it's like chance of rain, we'll just postpone it basically. Yeah. So yeah. Um. But yeah. April thirteenth, twelve to five. What else is there? Oh, min, um. What events do you think we'll we're, uh, um? We took some feedback from the last one. If we we're doing so for sure, like we're at, we're having music there. Oh, yeah, we're still, yeah, we're still working on it. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. I was saying, it's, it, it's two weeks away, so we're still like we're we're trying to get all the things together, but we're trying to add music, we're trying to add snacks and stuff like that. Basically, like all the feedback we got from the last one, we're trying to implement like you know those into our the next the next one, basically. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, um, if you guys don't have any other questions, comments, concerns, uh, if you guys want to see anything else, let me know. But other than that, like I'll give it like twenty seconds if you guys want to ask anything. Otherwise, it'll be the end of this week's live stream. <laughs> okay. Oh, the music stopped right on time too. <laughs> nice. That was so quiet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, thanks for tuning in again. See you guys next week. Hopefully, you see you guys at Build Day. Hopefully, there's no rain. Nothing happens. You know that kind of thing. Um. Yeah, and then, yeah, the winner. Rudy, please, if you're seeing this, contact, uh, or we'll send a contact um, email to you as fast as soon as we can. Hopefully we... we Hopefully we spelled it right. Correctly. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, it's a little hard to read. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you don't get back to us, I mean, we'll try our best. Like, just, yeah. we'll try, like, every variation we can. Just... Yeah, if you don't get anything from us, just come by, like, within, mm-hmm. you know, as soon as you can, and then just bring your ticket. Yeah, the ticket stop, um, four zero three five five three. Yeah, I nailed it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Did I get it? Did everyone get it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Um. Other than that, see you guys later. Have a good weekend.